The cleaning customer made me so mad that I'm sparking. What does that mean? Because it sounds really dangerous, right? I'm Angela Brown, and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question, and I get to help you find an answer. Now, if you have a question, you can go over to askahousecleaner.com, and right there in the corner is a blue button. When you click on that, a little microphone appears, and you can send your message to me here at the show. Somebody called in and they asked this question. Hi, Angela. My name is Heather. I recently started my own house cleaning business. I have a question. First, uh, just so you know, in the past, I have been very confrontational. I've always had a short temper, but I've been working really hard on maintaining good customer service and being kind. And when something happens where I feel like I'm going to explode, I breathe and you just try to maintain my, my attitude so that it's positive. Well, my first client is giving me a difficult time and I don't want to explode or be angry with them. It's a long story, but basically when I first got there, I tried my best to present the policies and procedures. I did my best to do the walkthroughs. So I was the one letting her know what I can or can't do. And every time she would put her hand up and say, no, wait, let's, I want to tell you what I need done first. And then we can talk about that later. So I tried to just be cool and not freak out. Well, in the end, she told me that her husband was supposed to pay me. So I said, okay, well, I'll, 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 I can work with that. And then after that, she says, no, I'm the one paying you and you do what I say and I'll pay you when I want to pay you. What can I do to get my payment without being crazy and exploding on her? I hope you understand what I'm asking. I appreciate your time. Thank you. All right. I hate that you find yourself in this situation where you thought you were talking to the buying uh, person that makes the decision on the house cleaning. Then they flip flopped and then they said, no, it's my husband. And then they came back and they said, no, it's me. And you'll do as I tell you. Okay. In my business, we've always done something called not arguing with idiots. It's a personal policy that we have in our business. We don't advertise it a lot. We don't talk about it a lot, but everybody on our team knows that, Hey, we have a personal policy. We don't argue with idiots. Now here's where this comes from. I'm not calling the customer an idiot, but it's idiotic behavior. Okay. So there comes a time in many relationships where a customer will start doing things. We call it crazy making where they say, oh yes, I'm the one in control. After you've qualified them, you get to their house to do a walkthrough. Then they're like, no, I just tricked you really. My husband decides. Then you say, okay, let's get him and bring him in on the conversation. Then they're like, no, I tricked you. It's really me. Okay. That's crazy making. That will just make you crazy. Okay. So we don't, we don't argue with idiots. We don't play games with idiots. We don't negotiate with idiots. We don't any of those things. When you realize I'm in one of those crazy making situations that can spark a short fuse, right? So we're going to call what you have sparking. And the reason we're going to call it that is because by your own self admission, you have a short fuse and you're doing very well at containing it, right? I love the fact that you're so self-aware that that's an issue that you're dealing with. Okay. That said, when you feel your blood start to boil and your eyes start to get really big, and you start grinding your teeth and you're like, uh, uh-uh, no, you did not just say that to me. You did not just hold up your hands to me and say, no, 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 we're going to do it my way. And I'll tell you how it's going to happen. Right? I would spark as well. Okay. So we're going to call that scenario sparking. And what you don't know, or maybe you do is that is one of your biggest tools. If you realize you have the capacity to be volatile and yet you can control it, a sparking will just trigger in your mind. Hey, I'm dealing with a crazy maker. And what is my policy? My policy is we don't negotiate with crazy makers at all. And so I'm going to turn and walk away. And this is the moment where you ask yourself this question, is this customer honoring my business? When I come to clean this customer's house, can I provide them a service that honors them as well? And if the answer is no, I'm going to hate this customer. This customer is just crazy making from the very beginning. This is the moment where you let that sparking send a signal to your conscious mind that goes, "Uh uh-uh, no way. We're not doing this. And with a smile on your face, you can say something as kind as, After hearing your priorities, I've discovered that I'm probably not the best cleaning service for you. So I don't want to take up any more of your time. I'm not going to finish this walkthrough because like I said, I don't think we can service your account, but thank you so much. You have a lovely home and best of luck. And then turn around and walk out. Okay. When you turn around and walk out, but you did it with a smile on your face and you were polite. What it does is this, it tells the customer, "Uh uh-uh, this is not going to happen. And I am in control. Okay. The next thing it says is, 
that you did not do anything that will damage your reputation. This doesn't turn into a bad rating and review for you online. You did not harm the customer in any physical sort of way. <laughs> you just turned and walked away, okay? So anytime you start sparking, and this can happen in your personal life, it can happen in your professional life, it can happen with coworkers, it can happen with a boss, it can happen with employees, it can happen with anyone. When you start sparking, remind yourself, I'm in a crazy situation right now, and this is probably not worth the battle that I'm about to fight. Anything that you do in the next couple of minutes can have long lasting effects, and it could end you up in jail, it could end you up hurt or physically harmed, it could end up with another person being physically hurt or harmed that could then end you up in court or something else, right? It could have long lasting effects. So when you start sparking, just realize, wait a second, a trigger just went off in my brain. And what that means is I need to put a smile on my face and turn around and walk away. Don't engage, don't argue, don't get involved in the situation because it does not end well ever, okay? If you've already done work for this customer, and it sounds like you have because you're trying to collect the money. I don't want you to be in a situation where you're trying to collect money from this customer at every clean. It sounds like she's, she's doing a power play and she's trying to tell you who's the boss and how this is gonna go down. I don't like this situation, okay? So from now on, we will, we will contact her and we will say we need you and your husband to come to agreement as to how I get paid for this before we have to take legal action. And that might mean that you go to small claims court and you try to get your money from her, okay? It's not probably gonna be worth your time, but I don't want you to ever clean her house again. You've just suspended her service. This is not a healthy situation for you, okay? What I'm going to do for you is we have a customer scorecard and I want you to use it. As you go on your walkthroughs from here on out, it will rate the customer on a scale of one to 10. And any of you that are watching this, if you would like to have a copy of that, I will leave links in the show notes to the customer scorecard. When you're on a walkthrough, I want you to rate the customer. Is this customer agreeable? I don't mean they have to agree with everything that you say, but when you have explained your side of the business, they've explained their priorities, are you able to come to agreements? Did this person give you factual information, such as I am the decision maker here, I will be the one that's paying you. If they flip flop and go, no, I was tricking you, it's really my husband, I'm tricking you again, it's really me, that's not factual information. You can't base a good business decision on faulty information, doesn't happen. So if they gave you bad information, I want you to give them a minus 10. You'll tally it up at the bottom. If you don't have at least 50, turn around and walk away, okay? There are just a couple of questions. They're easy to answer. They're easy to add up in your head. But if you don't have at least a 50, turn around and walk away. It's not a good customer. It's not a good deal. It's gonna make you crazy if you try to work with this type of customer, okay? So I just want to be aware that you're sparking in this situation. And I love the fact that you are aware of that. And that can serve you very well through the course of your business because that's just a trigger that, wait a second, I'm on high alert right now and nothing that I do is about to be wise, okay? So I'm just gonna put a smile on my face. I'm gonna turn around and walk away because anything you do can and will be held against you. <laughs> it can and will be screenshotted. It can and will be shared on social media. It can and will be added into a rating and review for your customer and you don't want that, right? So if you start sparking, turn around and walk away and I give you permission to do that. That is your God-given right to do that. You are the business owner. But I don't want you to find yourself in a situation where every time you go to work, you hate the customer and you hate that you said yes to trying to help them make their lives better because they will never appreciate you. All right, I hope that helps. If it does, give us a thumbs up. If you want to watch a bunch of videos that we have created that are about how to set expectations and boundaries with customers, I've got a whole playlist right up here. It can change and revolutionize your business. All right, until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.